Hello everyone, an update here on the Kilo class submarine that was attacked by Ukraine. So, we now have some very clear satellite imagery here to look at. First, I'm going to take a look at this image, which was the before, from December 11, just to show the position of the Kilo submarine at Nova Rosisk, so we can get fully orientated here. There are two other Kilos seen here, in the subpen. Now the aftermath. So firstly, four submarines are seen at Nova Assisk afterwards and have all been dispersed except the one in the subpen. The one targeted is still in the submarine area. One is seen at the bottom of the photo which I believe is often berthed here, if I remember past satellite imagery correctly. Not sure why this one is kept out of a general submarine paddock, but it may be the Alrosa, which is used for testing of different um, engines. Then. Two more which have been hastily moved out of a submarine paddock to different positions at the naval base. Now, the fact that these two have been moved and the one targeted hasn't, does suggest that the one which was targeted did sustain damage in this attack and is no longer operational. In yellow is the dock, so unfortunately the marine drone did miss its target and did not score a direct hit on the submarine itself. It impacted in the dock, but caused a lot of damage, as you can see in this image here without the highlights. So, the marine drone packed one hell of a punch and caused significant damage to the dock itself. If this scored a direct hit on the submarine, I think it would be finished. This image shows it in a bit more detail, so the impact looks about 10 to 20 meters away from the submarine itself, so unfortunately, it does confirm that it did miss. But the fact that that submarine hasn't moved out of a submarine pen definitely does suggest damage was caused to it. Otherwise, surely Russia would have moved it like we move the other two. Now, this bit's interesting. Check the submarine targeted with the one on the other side of a pier. Now, is it me? Or is the one targeted sitting lower in the water? It could be because of the shadows given that impression, but the one on the bottom is definitely looking higher out of the water than the one targeted. This is more visible here, around the highlighted spots around the white circle thing. So on the bottommost tub, there is an extra six feet or so of submarine sticking out, visible, clearly, above the waterline. That is invisible on the one targeted. The rear end of that submarine looks submerged, so it definitely looks like the one which was targeted Zars, is hanging in the water. The damage isn't as severe as we are hoping to, but it is looking like it was sagging here, which means the hull of the submarine must have been breached by this blast at the rear end, causing it to sit lower in the water at this part, because surely, even with shadows obscuring some of the sub and that sort of thing, we would see more of it above water than we are seeing here, when we compare to the one just below it. It's definitely looking like its arse is hanging in the water. And submarines are quite delicate things. Typically, they aren't supposed to sag in the water like this, and the insides of them are supposed to remain dry. Though, judging by what happened to the Kursk, that might not be a priority for Russia. I guess the best confirmation here is, if this ends up in dry dock or something similar to undergo repairs, or if it suddenly mysteriously disappears overnight, with Russia using the cover of night to move it somewhere else, so satellite imagery and videos and photos don't detect it having to be moved by a tugboat. So if we see this end up in dry dock somewhere, we did sustain damage, and we can then keep tabs on it and how long it takes to repair. And whilst in dry dock, it will be vulnerable. Remember, Ukraine had success hitting the Minsk and the Rostov whilst they were in dry dock. And again, hit the Rostov for a second time with the Takums whilst it was being repaired and out of water. So if it does move to dry dock, there is the chance that Ukraine may hit this again. So that's it for this video. Not much else to discuss here, but I thought this worth a quick look. If you found the video interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much and take care, everybody.